To start, let me first introduce to you the Office of the Student Affairs and Services Personnel. First on the list, yours truly, Engineer Ernesto Aliado Jr., MIM, the Director of Student Affairs and Services. We have our college school nurse, Edwina Baklik, RN. Our IBED school nurse, Jaya Free Magbanwa, RN, LPT. Our sports coordinator, Ryan John Alpas, LPT, Malt, PE. Our sociocultural coordinator, Jenny Philip Saniel, LPT. Our SSG moderator, Eileen Scotty, LPT. The St. Eugene Dimazinot Band coordinator, Herson Torino. And the coach of the Rams basketball team, we have Jay Esperanzate. Now let's move on to the role of the OSAS or the Office of the Student Affairs and Services. The OSAS is responsible for the academic and non-academic programs of the students. It includes student discipline, maintain peace and order inside the campus, supervise and guide student leaders, plan, manage, and implement extracurricular activities like sports, sociocultural, and academic, both in and off campus, provide medical and dental services, provide trainings, seminars, workshops, and other programs for the holistic development of every student. Now for the existing policies on the use of internet. So since most of um, in this new normal, you will be uh, dealing most of the time in the internet. So we have crafted this supplementary handbook for online learning. And also we have an existing policies and regulations governing the use of social media among NDMC students within and outside the school. Here's the parents and guardians responsibilities. Number one, talk to their parent uh, to, sorry, talk to their student about the importance of conducting themselves appropriately online. Two, talk about ensuring respectful communication at all times and making choices to protect their personal information. Three, help monitor the participation of their student in online learning and the progress of complying their school requirements. Four, coordinate to school authorities any issues, problems, or concerns pertaining to online education. And for the students' responsibilities, one, use computers, devices in a responsible, safe, and ethical manner. Two, adhere to the existing school's student code of conduct and provisional policy on online education concerning behavior and communication, which apply to all mobile devices. Three, use all online resources responsibly or in an appropriate manner so as not to violate copyright law or the Philippine Privacy Act. Four, monitor all activities on their account and take the necessary and appropriate steps to protect their privacy. And five, always log out and secure their device after they are done working. Moving on, six, report any emails, messages, or posts containing inappropriate language and or subject matter to their teacher or any school personnel. Seven, ensure that their personal information is protected at all times. This includes usernames and passwords. Eight, attend online classes and participate in online activities conducted by the school, sponsored by the Supreme Student Government, their department, guidance office, and other offices. Nine, Utilize all online resources and materials provided by the institution for their own consumption and benefit. 10. Help protect the image of the institution by not engaging themselves in any form of defamation spread through any online platform. Now, here's the classification of offenses. So we have two classification of offenses. We have the major offense and the minor offense. Now, let's discuss first the major offenses. Number one, defamation against any personnel, student, parent, or stakeholders posted or spread online. Number two, illegal sharing of copyrighted materials. Number three, sending, posting, accessing, uploading, downloading, 
sharing or distributing offensive, profane, threatening, pornographic, obscene, or sexually explicit materials. Number four, playing games during online classes. Number five, spamming, sending mass or inappropriate emails or online messages. Number six, accessing, deleting, or corrupting other students' accounts, files, and or data. Number seven, use of the school's internet for illegal activities. Number eight, use of anonymous and or false communications. Number nine, sharing personal information online unless under teacher instruction to do so. Number 10, transmission of or accessing materials that are obscene, offensive, threatening or otherwise intended to harass or demean others. Number 11, making memes or humorous image of another person which can humiliate the dignity of others. Number 12, posting or sharing of screen grabs during online classes without the consent of everyone. Number 13, sharing or posting of recorded videos or conferences. Number 14, distracting the teacher or classmates during online conferences, such as but not limited to shouting, dancing, singing, make a face, etc. Number 15, academic dishonesty, such as but not limited to cheating, plagiarism, and collusion. For the minor offenses, we have three. Number one, use of chat rooms for non-educational purposes. Number two, wearing of inappropriate attire during online classes. Number three, absence or tardiness during online classes or other schools, school activities. Now, during online classes, you will not be required to wear your uniform. However, it is a mask for you to wear decent attire. For the policies and regulations governing use of social media among NDMC students within and outside the school for the academic year 2020-2021. Your teacher might require you to use uh, social media platforms like um, we have Facebook. So in order to see to it that you maintain etiquette in using this platform, here's the guidelines. The following acts shall constitute cyberbullying in social media and are strictly prohibited. Number one, uploading of a, sec of a recorded sex video or nude photos on the internet by either or both parties who engage into a sexual activity, whether with or without the consent of the other. Number two, uploading of a recorded sex video or nude photos on the internet by someone other than the parties to a sexual activity, whether with or without the consent of either or both of the latter. Number three, uploading on the internet photos of another without the consent of the latter and made in bad faith. This test of this violation is not only the willful and deliberate intent of the perpetrator, but the adverse effects cost to the offended party, such as social humiliation, besmirched reputation, among others. Number four, posting of malicious messages, shout outs, or status on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and other social media maligning any person directly by revealing his or her identity or indirectly by providing clues as in the case of blind items. Number five, sharing on Facebook and other social media those enumerated under first and second paragraph thereof. Number six, sharing on Facebook and other social media, those provided under the third and fourth paragraphs hereof. And number seven, commenting malicious on a post provided in the fourth paragraph hereof, which shall be considered as a separate post. Now, what are what will be the sanction for the major offenses? So violation of the prohibited acts enumerated in the immediately preceding sections shall be dealt with the following penalties. And number one, we have here dropping. What we mean by dropping? 
Dropping means a student who is considered undesirable after due process may be dropped from the school rule, rule during the school year. The student should immediately be issued his or her transfer credentials. Number two, suspension. A student may be suspended during the school year for a maximum period not exceeding 20% of the prescribed school days. Suspension that exceeds 20% of the prescribed school days shall be forwarded to CHED with 10 days from the termination of the investigation for its formation. Number three, expulsion debars the student from all public or private schools. All cases involving this sanction need the approval of the director of CHED and TESTA. For the other penalties, number one, we have, the, we have reprimand or admonition. Number two, failure in course or examination. Number three, disqualification from receiving graduation honors. Number four, denial of academic privileges, scholarship, or grant, grants in aid. Number five, payment of actual damage inflicted. And the last, other penalties as may be approved by the Committee on Student Discipline. For the minor offenses, for the first offense, you will be given an oral warning. If you do it for the second time around, you will be given a written warning. And if you do it the third time around, you, this minor offense will be considered a major offense. What is the procedure for the disciplinary action? Let's say, for example, you, want to, you are uh, involved in a um, case, so here is the procedure if you want to uh, reach us or reach the DSAS, if you want to complain, you have to follow the following rules and procedures. Number one, a student having a grievance or complaints should first confer with the appropriate faculty or staff member in an endeavor to resolve the problem. If there is a conflict of interest with this person or the problem cannot be resolved, the complainant shall be endorsed to the Director of Student Affairs and Services. Number two, all major offenses shall be formally reported in writing, in a paper, or it can be electronic since um, you cannot uh, come here to the office, you can have it through electronic mail. Later on, I'm going to give you the email. So you're going to send the email to the DSAS and duly signed by the complainant. Number three, the DSAS shall notify in writing or email text or call the student concerned about the complaint. Number five, the DISA shall conduct a preliminary investigation and submits the report to the Committee on Student Discipline. Number five, the DISA shall convene the Committee on Student Discipline for a hearing between the respondent and the complainant. Number six, after the hearing, the members of the Committee on Student Discipline shall deliberate to come up with a decision. Number seven, the decision shall be given in writing to the parties concerned through the DSAS. Number eight, in case of protest, the student concerned may file a letter of appeal addressed to the school president for reconsideration. And number nine, the, school's pres uh, the school president's decision is final. So now let me present to you the official Facebook page of NDMC. So we have here the Notre Dame of Isaiah College, the first Notre Dame school in Asia. And our official group is the NDMC way. You can reach me through this uh, email, ndmc.desas at gmail.com. Or you may also call me with these numbers. For smart users, we have 0951-205-0546. And for globe users, 0915-5534-927. Hashtag NDMC, hashtag Nurturing Dreams, Molding Champions. Thank you and good afternoon.